we're here now to talk about uh, hive location, how to pick a good location to keep bees, and then once you've picked that location, how to arrange the bees within the bee yard or apiary. Uh, it's ideal if you have southern, southern exposure, so the bees get lots of sunlight. Full sunlight is preferable. Bees can put a longer work day in that way, and uh, they're nice and warm. They, they function well as a colony when they're nice and warm. Uh, it's ideally ideal if you have wind protection all around. As you can see around the yard here, we have protection on the east, the north, and again on the west, and with good southern exposure. So it's not a windy location uh, to keep the bees. That's ideal. It's not absolutely necessary. Uh, if you're keeping bees in an urban uh, situation, something you want to be considering is the uh, legislation that's in effect in the Bees Act. In that legislation it states that you can't keep bees closer than 30 meters to a property line or 10 meters to a road allowance. Uh, those uh, regulations are enforced on a complaint basis so they're sometimes not adhered to but, uh, but you should be aware that that's what the legislation is. Uh, once you have a bee yard picked out um, you want to think about how you place your bees within that bee yard. It's ideal to keep hives two together on uh, a hive stand. If you have two together, then you always have some, somewhere to set your smoker. You can't underestimate the value of, uh, of that. And you're able to work pretty efficiently with hives uh, since they're close together. Uh, what We have our hives arranged in groups of six. Uh, with all the entrances facing into the middle. That allows us, if we want, to smoke all six hives at once just by turning around there. And then this is a no-go area in the middle. All the bees are flying in and out of there. We can do our work from the side of the hive or from the back of the hive. And again, there's always somewhere to set the smoker. With orientation like this, each hive has a slightly different orientation, so that makes it easy for them to uh, navigate and find their way back home again. We paint our hives multiple colors, and that also helps with them in finding uh, their own home. Uh, the few more points that I, I could mention, if you have your bees in an area near a swimming pool, uh, that could be an issue. Bees will go to the closest water source that they can find and if they start going to swimming pools they get uh, they pick up that chlorine scent and that actually helps them communicate where to go to find the water. So it can be a significant problem. So you may need to provide water in a bee yard if there are uh, swimming pools nearby. Another thing is laundry. If people are hanging their clothes out in the line and bees go out and defecate uh, that can be a problem as well, so you want to keep them away from uh, uh, laundry and away from any high traffic areas where there's a lot of pedestrian activity. So a nice quiet area uh, is the ideal spot to keep bees. They're pretty adaptable. They'll do pretty well just about wherever you put them, but uh, it needs to be easily accessible for you, so you don't want to have them in a wet spot. You want, don't want to have to climb over a fence to get to them. Uh, things like that, because you have to keep in mind Beekeeping is largely moving things around from one place to another, and it's often heavy things, so you want to make the, the bee yard uh, as accessible as possible. But that's it. Uh, uh, it's uh, not, you don't have to have a perfect place. We're just mentioning uh, all the, the ideal circumstances. Thanks for watching. See you next time.